to ask this question. Okay. I love fans. You know, they go kooky, and it doesn't matter how how long ago was it that TLC had their first big hit record? Like probably maybe well, twenty years. Twenty ago, years yeah. ago. Okay. I got news for you. Their fans today are just as crazy as they were back in the day. And so I want to post a question. One of these folks got decided that he would help out by posting to a couple of chat boards. He gave them the question, just said, sign up and send them in. So all of a sudden, oh, we must have had 80 of these. But I'll capsulize them all by saying this. Um, well, that's the, a great question. The TLC fans want to know, what your vision is for the new TLC album? And can you tell us anything about the new music you've heard, Ron? Let's go behind the window. Okay, I'm going to read this question because I want to. Can you put, put the put question back, back up? Because I want to. I want to ruminate on it for a second. Okay. My vision for the new TLC album is that it's not my vision. My, it's their vision. They are the artist. My job and my covenant and my, you know, my mission is to stand behind them and see the world through their eyes and then capture performances and stage those performances in a recording so that they grab an audience. So my vision is to remain as neutral and as possible and leave no footprint or trace of my existence in the process. They're the artist. And that's my vision for most records, mm -hmm. is to get in and get out without leaving a, a stink on it of my own. The second part of the question, what was the second? Put, put that one back. Again, Jeff. Uh, can can tell I tell us about the new music? Yes, I can tell you about the new music I've heard. It's got one, it's got, it's old soul music. It's 90s throwback music. It's vintage TLC. And I can tell you that their vocals sound exactly like they did the last time you heard them. There is, their, their, their artistic and vocal thing is 100% intact. So this is going to become a question of what are they talking about? What are the lyrics? What are the beats they've chosen? I, and uh, I'm very excited what are the other for the world to hear. Up that I remember because it has it. Was there any way to work Lisa back into it somehow? You know, uh, this is this is uh, you know, unfortunately, from a tragic point of view, there is no replacement for somebody like that. If they tried to put a, another person in her place, it would be cheese ball. We're not going to pander to that. There's nothing that can replace her. And the high road is really to persevere and to acknowledge that it's a space that cannot be filled. You know what? Uh, love that. You know, if it was a Brendan O'Brien once told me something very similar. He goes, if I do my job right, nobody knows I was there. Right. And it speaks to that notion you just said, the, you know, the great producers, they make those artists look great. You know, and how they do it behind the Wizards curtain. I'm not sure anybody really needs to know, Ron. <laughs> you know, and there's a joke that goes with it, which is that if you have a hit, the artist is a genius, and if you have a stiff, the producer screwed up. Was your I was even thinking manager business. If I, I used to walk into label meetings and say, if it's a horrible idea, of course that would be mine.